welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now, I'm actually really excited for today's video, you guys, because we are doing a home tour. I want to give you guys a little bit of a peek at what I have been working on. So on Wings SMP, we are allowed to build the exterior of our homes in creative. So I definitely had a lot of fun with this. Now, I'm not completely finished, but we are going to be doing some gameplay up next. So I'll kind of just um include you guys as like when i do more renovations so i really just wanted to show you guys where we are right now so i'm still in creative so that is why i'm able to kind of just like fly around and i did see this biome with like all of the rainbow trees you can see all of the other homes here we have castles with ivy we have this freaking amazing thing <laughs> i don't know what it is but it's freaking amazing and we have everybody's homes over here so i still have a lot of work to do with my home i kind of feel like it's still pretty small compared to like some of the others so i'm gonna like continue on working with that so first thing when you come to my home there is this little dock here which i really wanted to have this in case i needed to like boat around sail around i don't know exactly <laughs> how to say that but i do want to or i did want to put my home over here just because this is all kind of like flat land and once i'm in my home i kind of have like the view of all of the flowers and i didn't really want to be too close to anyone else because as you guys know i love my space i love being able to garden and just keep on building so still not completely finished you guys keep that in mind but when you first come to my home you see my mailbox Kristen plays home sweet home with my little mailbox and my wings that I do need to put on so first thing here is my little dock area and then we have these stairs right here that are gonna go to this like little entertaining area not too sure what I want to put here I'm kind of thinking about maybe um, making the floor stone and making like some kind of a fire pit or a fireplace or something like that. I can't walk because I feel like I'm so short <laughs> because I wanted to make myself just like this really itsy bitsy teeny tiny fairy. So when you do walk up into my home now, I kind of wanted to go for something that was a little bit cottage and mixed with like a lakeside home. Now, because we are fairies, I wanted to use lots of pings, really feminine kind of a style. And there is this like wrap around balcony. So very similar to the home or it's inspired by the home that I did have on one of the previous servers that I didn't actually get to play with, unfortunately. So you guys, we have window boxes. I don't know if you know how happy that makes me. <laughs> if you have came over by my Sims channel, you guys are, you know, how about that I am so over in here is actually where my garden is going to be so because all of the like furnishing gardening is in survival I just wanted to make sure that I had it all placed exactly how I want it to be and there's lots of lighting we have the water and all of the grass here ready to be tilled up we have the scarecrow and if you go over here there's more space for garden as well so i do have a lot more space that i can kind of like extend it over here that's kind of what i am picturing um doing eventually i'm probably gonna build a little bit of a barn area over here i think this is mud I'm not exactly sure we have a dying parrot over there that's fine <laughs> but I do want to oh my gosh we even have a dragon over here but I am planning on making a burn so I think I might make it kind of like greenhouse inspired really bright stained glass and then have it like surrounded by a little bit of an area for all of like my animals and the garden so I kind of like am really in love with this already to be honest I mean it's a little bit simple because I'm not completely like finished furnishing it and as you guys know this home is going to change a ton but I don't mind it and this dragon like he keeps staying yeah I'm not too sure I might switch out the heart for something a little bit more like fairy inspired I thought it was just kind of cute I needed to put it there <laughs> so when you want to get into my home I'm gonna have to do a little bit of um I'm gonna need to like switch things around just a little bit because I don't really have that many entrances 
from like downstairs to get in my home quickly in case I'm like trying to get away from someone or something. So I need a little bit more light over here on just this like balcony up. But when you first go in my home, if you go in through the downstairs area, this is where all of my storage is. So I haven't been able to go mining. I'm kind of afraid to because we don't have keep inventory on. And um, I feel like it's a bit of an issue. <laughs> so I have everything all set up in here. I have chests and all of like the frames. So I'll be able to organize, but unfortunately everything is just kind of empty. And um, yeah, so that's where all of this is going to be. And now I might eventually keep on digging down and just keep on like extending the home a little bit. And the upstairs, you guys, I love it. Oh my gosh, you can see the dragon. Yes, go away. So the only thing that I do have in here is my bed. I do want to make something that's a little bit cuter, but I did need somewhere to be able to sleep, I guess. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, there we go. <laughs> but um, I don't know if we can sleep. Yeah, let's make it daytime just to get rid of the monsters. So the interior, as you guys can see, is completely empty. So what I am going to be needing to do is actually go around and collect all of the different dyes to put into the deco craft. Oh, somebody's in the game. I never even noticed. Dang it, we can't sleep. But this is very open concept. So what I am going to be doing once I do get into gameplay is boxing it off over here. This is going to be my bedroom. I love all my windows. Things never change. <laughs> so I'm probably going to be putting like a bunch of storage up there in the rafters in my bedroom. And then over in here is going to be like where the kitchen living room is and I will be working on a fireplace that goes out through the top of my home. So I am going to be probably in the next couple of episodes continuing on building the farm and everything like that. I don't really know exactly all of the creatures that are in this world, but I do feel like there are going to be a ton. Oh my gosh, you can see all of the lights. It's just so pretty, you guys. I'm like in love with this server already. And yeah, so I can't wait to get exploring. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think we should start on collecting and what you guys think I should add on to our home to make it a little bit cozier. And I do need some ideas on what we want to make floating over top of the home. I'm kind of thinking about adding like a butterfly. Oh my gosh, I just keep like throwing stuff. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys have not already, join the Kristen Plays Discord where we will be discussing all things Minecraft, Roblox, gaming, and just having a lot of fun. So link for that is down in the description. Make sure that you guys do give this video a very big thumbs up. Always lets me know you guys enjoyed today's video. And hopefully I'm going to get to see you all next time. Bye guys.